Hello Cosmic Family, it's your girl Cosmic Jazz 222 and today I am back with another celebrity reading. This time it is on Justin Bieber um, and I will touch on Haley as well as Selena. Well not too much Selena because it's really not about her <laughs> but mostly Justin and Haley because guess what guys if you haven't heard they are expecting a child and I shouldn't say congrats to them. Um, welcoming a child into the world is always a blessing so anyways besides that if you are new to the channel you just came across this video hi my name is jazz i'm a little psychic here on youtube and i do a variety of videos i do tarot readings i do astrology breakdowns um, i just started doing celebrity readings recently and i talk about like conspiracy theories anything dealing with spirituality religion and what's happening up in the stars okay guys so just some disclaimers before we begin i know when it comes to celebrity life and stan culture it can get really toxic so i'm coming to this reading as unbiased as possible and i'm also going to be respecting all parties involved i'm not going to continue to tap into energies when i'm getting a feeling that i should stop you know there's a limit there is boundaries that you have to respect so that's what i'm going to be doing in this reading if there's some things that won't be revealed to me i'm going to be completely fine with it all right guys so let's get into it so yes he is expecting a child with his wife Haley, and um when i was on social media i was a little bit upset to see the comments okay um this is supposed to be a very beautiful time for the two of them but unfortunately because of stan culture there's a lot of negative comments i was seeing they were dragging selena into it i'm just like y'all can we not um but besides that recently i know justin was being a topic of discussion due to you know the whole diddy situation and um possible traumas he's reliving so i just want to see how he's doing currently okay so i'm just gonna look into like a vibe check let's do a vibe check for him first so let's see how is justin bieber feeling currently what is his current energy what is justin's current energy um as i was shuffling the other deck earlier just to you know make sure i'm not shuffling too much on camera i saw the king of cups showing up so he is a pisces so i do feel like already he is pretty happy he's um very excited over the fact that he's about to be a father and if you know anything about tarot king of cups is definitely equated to a masculine who is very open emotionally he's ready to nurture he's ready to give and that usually pertains to father figures so He's definitely ready um, to have a child. But let's see, how is he currently feeling? Okay, card wanted to come out. We have solitude. <clears throat> so we got Virgo. This is technically the hermit. We have prosperity begins. And let's do one more. How's Justin currently feeling? Okay, and then we have light reversed over energy is rest and rejuvenate and then we have trapped in fear okay guys so i am getting a bit of mixed emotions here coming from his side there's a lot okay let me just say this so first and foremost justin is keeping quiet okay he's been very focused on being alone with his family of course and he doesn't really want to be in the spotlight at this time and he doesn't want to shed light on anything pertaining to the people he cares about so this would include Haley, and of course the child even though this is good news um he is currently preparing to welcome this child into the world okay we have prosperity begins a seed was planted and is about to bloom you can see this as literally so he is trying to figure out how things are going to play out in the near future and he's thinking about legacy right now he's thinking about how is my life going to change how am i supposed to show up now that i'm going to have this new responsibility and this new role as a father so he is in that mindset right now and he doesn't want to be the center of attention like having people in his business okay 
Now, I would say he is still battling with something mentally here, with the trapped in fear. There's a lot of anxiety surrounding him. I still feel like mentally he is not in a really good space. Even though this is good blessings, very good energy coming through with this, um, you know, pregnancy, right? I still feel like mentally he is not in the right headspace. Um, there is a lot of things relating to his past being brought up. There's a lot of things he's still fighting, okay? So I, that I don't want to really get into, but just know he is still dealing with that in the process. We also have the sun or light in reverse. Now, again, there is something here about him not wanting the public, wanting fan bases to really get involved in what he has prepared. He is a little bit conscious about negative perspectives, receiving bad attention, bad pub publicity. He doesn't want that to happen at this moment. And he, I feel like he's very sensitive to that, actually. Okay. Now, with the light card, I actually also feel like something... I'm not really getting drama. I'm not really getting something like a tower moment. But I do feel like something undesirable might get revealed in the next coming months or there might be a focus on a negative aspect of either his life or the situation with him and Haley. I am intuitively picking that up and um I keep hearing overshadow it's like he doesn't there's something that could potentially overshadow the pregnancy you know the happiness surrounding welcoming a child there is something here I want let me clarify this before I look into it more yeah, foundations and achievements is dealing with family. Something could potentially overshadow, you know, this blessing that's coming through. And there's a decision that needs to be made about this. Okay. And then we have balance. So this is something he is dealing with personally. Um, and this is like this relating to the family. It's not just him and Haley. I think it's also either her family or his family there's something weird going on here that he is trying to get under wraps okay but overall he is in solitude and he's not really focused on the fame and all that nonsense he's just trying to prepare for the next chapter which we can all respect right okay so let me look into Haley real quick and then we'll get into the tarot how is Haley currently feeling Where's her current energy? We have truth coming out. Firm foundations. Okay, again, she is also in the midst of preparing to welcome a child, of course. How's Haley currently feeling? We have spiritual union. This is interesting. Overall energy is temptation, and then underlying energy is hope. So what's so strange about this, guys, even though, yes, she's preparing, there's something about, because I'm hearing this should be, this will solidify the connection. That's what I'm hearing. This should be the key. This is the key. This will fix things. So what's so interesting is, Haley, yes, yeah, she's happy and stoked about this child, right? But there's there's a part of this that is saying she believes this baby is or this pregnancy is the key to solidifying the connection. So let me just say this based on her perspective, the relationship has been going through a lot of ups and downs. Um, with the devil card here, temptation along with shadow, the moon, and then emotional withdrawal. She has been dealing with just justin's mental mental health like again he's not in the right headspace and he's been battling a lot of stuff this could even deal with addictions this could deal with trauma that he's experienced in the past that he's still trying to fight right and i am getting a sense of she's always experienced this level of emotional detachment coming from him and Again, this has caused a rocky situation when it comes to their marriage. Now, she is approaching this pregnancy thinking and believing that maybe perhaps this child will bring us back to square one. We will be able to start over and maybe our connection 
can solidify. That's what I'm getting with firm foundations and spiritual union. And I'm seeing with the judgment card, this child, I'm already going to say this, guys. This child will be either, it, it will either make the connection, make the marriage, or it's going to break the connection. This child represents the judgment call placed on their connection. They are going to be going through a major lesson when it comes to this child. Now, I'm not saying this child is like going to bring a lot of catastrophe no 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 i'm not saying that but this child is definitely going to give them insight both parties in regards to whether this connection is supposed to last or if it's just done and over with right and i can say this with any connection once you bring a child into the situation you don't know if the connection is going to continue to solidify or is actually going to break the connection i mean that's what i'm trying to say now, my only concern about this is, are you trying to use this child and pregnancy to fix the connection? That's where I'm a little bit concerned with her perspective, because you, if the connection has been, again, I'm trying to be as unbiased as possible, guys, but if the connection has always been on rocky foundation, if you believe adding a child into the picture is going to help, I think... I think you have to be a little bit more cautious with that way of thinking. That's all I'm going to say about that. But nevertheless, at the end of the day, how Haley is feeling, she's looking at this more of, let's see how our connection plays out with this child. Are you going to step up? Am I going to be able to accommodate you? And the There's something weird here. It's like... How do I describe it, guys? I, I wasn't expecting this from her energy. She's keeping a close eye on Justin. Again, I feel like he hasn't been showing up as he should as a husband. It's because of what he's battling. I keep seeing a battle in his head, like mental battles. And I feel like she's coming into this with, okay, now that we have a child on the way, are you going to snap out of it? Are you going to mature? Are you going to show up? Let's see the truth. So this child, this baby is going to determine how their connection is going to play out. Interesting. Okay. Okay. So that's how she is showing up. I was not expecting that. But she's trying to remain as hopeful as possible. Um, she believes things can change for the better. But again, it's like you never know. Like I said, a child can either make or break a connection. It does create a lot of changes, you know. So let's see. Justin, what else? Okay, this card wants to come out. We have the Nine of Swords. You see, mental anguish, mental battles. I'm even seeing issues with sleeping with Justin. Seven of Cups reverse. Oh, okay. Um, guys, I, I should have done my research, but what? What's his age? Is he going through a Saturn return or is he just finishing up on a Saturn return? Because there is something here about now's your time to man up. Now's your time to mature. Now's your time to snap out of it. And when I say snap out of it, I'm not trying to say like completely overlook your traumas and overlook what you went through. I'm not trying to say that, no. But it's more of, are you going to show up? Are you actually going to make an effort now? So we have the nine of swords. This to me is anxiety. This is all about being in a place of mental anguish. Seven of cups reverse is all about having a reality check. The death card rebirth is all about change and transformation. And then the ten of cups reverse is talking about a family dynamic that's not really stable. So what Justin is going through right now, I really feel like this is a Saturn return. And this usually happens between the ages like starting... 27 to like early 30s that's like the time frame of a saturn return or the energy of a saturn return and during that time this is when you fully have to wake up and answer that call of being the person you're meant to be finally becoming an adult so i feel like he's going through some type of transit relating to that so the next step in his life the next chapter is all about is he going to get out of this dark place and actually make the effort and transform himself to create a stable family dynamic where he is emotionally open, emotionally mature, and he is attentive to not only himself, but to Haley and of course the child that's coming through, right? 
so i am seeing a bit of a battle with that that's something he still needs to work through i would not say this is going to be an easy thing but this is what he's this is what he's been called up for okay this is his calling this is what he needs to really address within himself the seven of cups can even speak of not seeing reality clearly but again he's going to have a major reality check coming soon so it's all about how he's going to handle this and if he's really going to put in the work and really try um because when i'm getting with the ten of cups if he doesn't i mean this isn't going to create a lasting foundation for the family it's not going to really play out favorably only if he decides to really try not saying he hasn't but there's something about him he really needs needs to at this point um because it's not about him it's not about Haley. it's about the family overall it's about everybody involved okay yeah four of wands this is home okay he is he's a little bit worried i would say he's a little bit stressed out he doesn't know how this is going to play out oh we got the emperor reversed okay a part of him is lacking confidence in his ability to be a father he, even though he wants a child and he this is literally his wish come true a part of him is afraid that he he can't he doesn't have what it takes to be a good father and again this stems back to what he experienced in the past okay let me see mind you guys the emperor represents father so he really has to man up and mature at this moment i mean this is what's being asked of him and if he can't do that i mean this this child <laughs> this new family dynamic is going to be very difficult for the both of them so it's like what's what are you going to do okay four of cups a star reversed Again, he's trying to avoid receiving any attention at the moment. He doesn't want the public to be involved. Page of Cups reversed. And then the King of Wands. So what I'm also seeing, guys, um, obviously, I see a lot of attention still coming through. Even though he's trying to avoid trying to keep things private i still see so many eyes on him and Haley, in the near yes now but also in the near future and there's a big judge it's like i'm seeing a lot of judging like judgmental gla uh, not glazes what am i trying to say glares like judgmental glares i'm seeing people saying things just to be saying it putting out their opinions like i'm just seeing a lot my first recommendation to this i would definitely encourage justin and Haley to not be on social media as much because i'm just seeing so many people just in their business and on top of that people bring up stuff from the past that shouldn't be brought up like i'm I'm seeing that if he pays attention to it he is definitely going to anger him i see i'm seeing it's not going to put him in a good headspace even though he's already not in a good headspace it's going to worsen the situation for all of them so they definitely need to stay off social media um if they could if they can once the child is born i would not show the face i would not i wouldn't do that personally because i'm just seeing so many people just like evil it's like evil eye can i be real it's like evil eye and i don't i don't like that like so protecting their privacy is going to be a priority in the next coming months okay guys um and he has to make sure he doesn't allow things to influence him on such an emotional level to the point where he starts becoming passive aggressive he has misdirected anger and this could like even he could possibly take this out on Haley if he's not careful so i'm definitely saying like definitely say <laughs> don't be on social media at all like don't do it okay guys so um let's see i want to see what's to come for their connection um I would say guys and this is like an intuitive download not saying he's going to relive like again he went through something traumatic in the past and i think we could figure out what that is not saying this child is going to make him relive that but a part of him 
because he's so the reason why he's so anxious is because he doesn't want his child to go through the same thing he went through so he's gonna try his best to you know protect his kid protect his family because he didn't get that when he was you know a teenager for example like i mean we can see with all the child stars child celebrities so when he looks at his child it's gonna be like i don't want you to go through the same thing as me and at the same time it's going to force him to address his own childhood traumas like there's a focus on that specifically so let me just see what's to how is this going to play out how is Justin's and Haley's connection going to play out in the future now that they are expecting? What's what's the next chapter? What's the next steps? Okay, we got the Page of Pentacles. So there is a lot of expectations. They both have a lot of expectations, but I'm definitely seeing it from her end. Um, I'm seeing ha Haley is usually someone who just allows things. Okay, hold on. Okay, I'm, I'm picking up something with her specifically. I do pick up a lot of maternal energy. I feel like she already exhibited that from the very beginning. But I'm seeing that definitely heighten. So a part of her, yeah, four wands reverse. Haley is putting a lot of pressure on him, or I see that might be playing out in the future. And again, it's like we have a child, this is our priority. What are you going to do? Are you going to step up? I keep hearing her say that. Um so hold up, something fell. The tower, okay. Ten of swords. <sighs> okay. So personally, I don't I don't really like seeing the tower and the ten of swords if I ask about how a connection is gonna play out now that this is coming through. So there is expectations. There are expectations. And I can say both of them are in this. Both of them want to commit. Both of them want to make this happen and make things, make a very stable home. But unfortunately, with the four wands reversed, this means an unstable environment. And then we have the tower, which talks about drastic changes, but often it's very catastrophic. And then we have the ten of swords, which represents a painful ending. So again, if they want this to work out, both parties need to fully understand themselves. Haley needs to understand herself. Justin most definitely needs to understand himself and work through whatever he's got going on. I do feel intuitively Haley is going to be putting her foot down. I'm seeing her um, gain more power. I guess that's just the maternal instinct that's kicking in, but she she's not going to be allowing things to happen or have justin do whatever the heck he wants i see her really saying like yo w again what are you going to do are you going to make this work or are you just gonna s stay in the same pattern okay so i mean yeah there she is mm -hmm. empress so oh and notice how in justin spread the emperor showed up reverse, which is father showing up in reverse, lacking control. But in Haley's spread, we have the empress, which is m the mother, and it's upright. So she's in a positive position. So I would say Haley's going to be an amazing mother. But a part of her also is afraid to be seen as only a mother. So again, there's something here. They both are dealing with identity crisis. Like they're both they're both gonna have to address and figure out who they are at a, at a personal level and i guess that's something i'm a little bit concerned with because it's like you're bringing new life into this world when you two don't even understand yourself so again they're gonna be they're gonna have to address that and then we have the temperance card so their connection will definitely change now again it depends on what are they willing to do to make this work you know are they both going to improve are they both going to progress with this okay we also got we also got the temperance card this is sagittarius so i don't know guys i i see Haley really putting her foot down and if he does if justin does not step up i i wouldn't be surprised if she makes that final call you know i would not be surprised 
Yeah, the Ace of Cups reverse is going to go through changes. So I'm not going to say the connection is going to end. That's still up in the air. It all boils down to what are they planning to do, how, if they're able to work it out. Okay, so they are going to be approaching a crossroads pretty soon. And uh, yeah, there she is, Queen of Swords. She, <laughs> she is definitely going to be making the final say in this. And then King of Swords reverse. All I'm going to say is I hope they figure it out. I really do. I hope they figure this out. Right now, it's really iffy because they both got personal things to address within themselves and hopefully they can work through it but in the future i definitely see a difference in visions like they're not going to be on the same page especially when it comes to the ten of pentacles this is literally legacy guys you see it's like family legacy grandchildren but it's in reverse so it's like can they work through this? And the king and queen of swords are very detached. Those are like the most attached suits here. With the ace of cups reverse, which is all about a fallout. So they need to really, if they want this to work, like I said, they have to put in the work. Okay. So, well, I, I really hope the best. Like, I mean, you don't, you know, I hope they get it sorted out. Now, I know I had some people on Instagram, you know, asking me how does Selena feel about it. Now, that that was kind of messy. <laughs> Y'all messy for that. But I'm not going to pull too many cards for her, but I just want to see how does she feel about the news. But I guess my overall perspective on this they wanted this child but are they ready i'm not too, i don't i really don't think they are personally i don't think they are based on the cards too i don't think they are ready but let's see how does selena feel towards the pregnancy how does selena feel oh wow dang she she has the tower card Oh, wow. Okay. So, we have the temperance reversed. Mm. And then we have the empress upright. This is very interesting. So, oh, goodness. <laughs> so, I'm getting many things with this. Did this, does this tug at her, what am I trying to say? Did this tug at her heartstrings a little bit? Yes, it did. It's not that she's still she still has feelings for Justin, right? It's not that she has feelings for him. But there the best way to describe it, imagine having such a strong soul tie to someone. They move on, they get married, you haven't. Then they end up having a child, you still don't have a family. Yeah, it's giving that. So it's kind of like you you're able to do all that but i i still haven't done that yet selena definitely does want to be a mother one day she i i do pick up from i pick up that energy from her and she's a cancer too so it's like she wants to be a mother she wants to have a family so seeing <laughs> seeing him and Haley do that it yeah it does rub her the wrong way a little bit i'm I, i'm not gonna lie but also selena doesn't think this is going to end well for them this is based on her perspective she does not think this child she thinks this is actually a bad thing for them um and it's because let me let me remind you guys selena has figured a lot about her own self and she has been actively working through her traumas working through her behavioral patterns like i'm pretty sure she went to see a therapist at one point she's been doing the inner work so from an outside perspective looking in she sees the shadow aspects of both Haley and Justin, and she clearly sees that y'all are making a huge mistake. This was a huge mistake. This child will not fix your relationship. That This is how Selena is viewing this whole thing. It's like, you guys have not learned. You guys do not understand yourselves. And now you bring a child into this, it's going to further complicate things. That's what I'm seeing with the tower. Drastic 
catastrophic changes, drama, temperance card, lack of balance, impatience, the empress card, pregnancy. This was not supposed to happen. This is not good. So this is how she's viewing this. On top of that, when it comes to Haley, yeah, is this going to cause more of a rift between them? Not saying they were ever cool, but this is definitely going to create more tension between the two women. What's so interesting is Selena feels like Haley is going to do majority of the work and the connection. And when it comes to the family dynamic, she does not have any confidence in Justin's ability to be a good father. That says a lot. And it's almost as if it's like, yeah, you guys moved on, but at least the, at least I don't have to deal with that. So, <laughs> yo, Selena, <laughs> why is she like this? She has no confidence in Justin. She thinks he's he's just not ready. She feels like he's not ready to be a father, and this was the worst timing to do so. Girl, yeah, four of cups. I mean, at the end of the day, it's like, okay, congrats, I guess. But, like, you know, yeah, the son. She doesn't think it's going to end well for both of them. Yeah, five of wands. She doesn't she has no confidence in this at all. But she's just gonna sit back and watch. Um, I mean, again, she's not attached to Justin, she doesn't have feelings, but it's like again the point of where they're at in life and where she's at, she, there is a little bit of there's a little bit of like, um, I feel a way about this, but you know, it is what it is. So that's that's her perspective on it. Okay, so with that being said, I want to pull a Moonology card for Justin and Haley. This is for like advice for them. So let's see what advice for Justin and Haley and also the connection. Okay, so advice for Justin. Final messages for Justin. Yep, be bold and make the first move. Like I said, he needs to step up. This is his time to step up. Be a man. You know, handle your business. Get everything in order. Start storing balance and structure back into his life, into the family's dynamic. Um, this is going to change him, though. I would say fatherhood is going to change him, hopefully for the better. But he will be addressing a lot of that subconscious programming, I'm telling you. Let's see Haley, Haley's final message. A fiery climax approaches full moon in Aries. I wouldn't be surprised if she has Aries placement, but I'm seeing a lot of Aries. Cardinal energy, mm-hmm. She's definitely going to be more, dom I'm seeing like such a dominant feminine energy coming from her. So she's definitely going to be calling the shots, putting her foot down and Again, if Justin's not going to answer that call, she's going to take matters into her own hands. I'm being for real. Now, final messages in regards to the connection. You're very close to achieving your goal. So collectively, both of them, again, this can work if they try, if they get on the same page and really try to work through this together. Okay. But that's my reading on them, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you have any other questions, let me know. If you want me to do a different celebrity, let me know. But I wish them the well. Oh, I wish them the well. I wish them the best. Oh, my goodness. Um, so let me just talk quickly about my opinion. I know I, I try my best to be unbiased. But what the cards are showing, yeah. Mm, yeah, a, li a little bit of a side eye. But my opinion on this. I do feel like again both parties have not completely learned and healed on their own there's identity issues that they're both going to be facing and if you don't fully understand yourself how can you expect to understand somebody else or expect somebody else to understand you on top of that bringing new life into this world how do you expect things to really play out smoothly on top of that i just feel like if you're in that place of having such a shaky relationship a child should not be the antidote it should not be used as oh this is going to fix the connection because nine times out of ten it worsens things it complicates things and 
it's not really a wise decision to bring a child into this world when things are shaky in that sense. Things should be, you know, structured, stable, safe, protective, right? But what I'm seeing in the cards, I, I'm not really seeing that present yet. Hopefully they get to that place, but I'm not seeing it right now. So again, I just hope things, I, I hope they fix it. I hope they get everything in order. That's all I can say. And I wish them the best, but let me know your thoughts in the comments. Does this, you know, <laughs> is this something you are also thinking have you been hearing things, you know, on social media? I really want to hear your thoughts and opinions. But anyways, I will leave now and I'll see you guys later. Bye.